Hi Taurus, I'm Pam and welcome to your Psychic Tarot reading for October 2019. This month I'm using the Hanson Roberts Tarot deck and remember these are general readings and to get messages pertaining specifically for you, you would need a private reading. This recording is for Taurus Sun, Taurus Ascendant, and Taurus Moon. Please be sure to watch your rising sign and your moon sign because some months they're going to resonate more for you than your sun sign will. And if you are born on the cusp of your sign of the Aries Taurus cusp or the Taurus Gemini cusp, you may want to watch your cusp sign because I've been getting in the past three months, some people have been writing me comments and private emails telling me that they didn't find that some of these readings, like they made sense for a while and suddenly they didn't. And then they thought, hmm, maybe I should watch my rising sign. I mean, cusp sign and the messages were coming to them from those videos. So you might want to check those out. So all that being said, Taurus, now on to your October 2019 Psychic Tarot reading. First card you have is the King of Cups. And the King of Cups is a water sign person. This is either a Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio. Sun sign, rising sign, or moon sign. This could also be you, Taurus, if you have a rising sign or moon sign that is a water sign. Some of you have... This King of Cups is doing everything in their power to make you like them. Is this love? Is it a friend? Is it somebody trying to get in your good graces because you're their boss? I don't know yet. They're watching your moves. They're taking note of your... Like, I don't want you to freak out. <laughs> like, what is this guy stalking me? Is this girl stalking me? Um, I feel like they know you, but they want to... Be with you more as a friend or, a, you know, hang out with you or date you. They're like admiring you. They're thinking you're something special here. This does have like, it has romantic undertones to it, it feels. You may be puzzled by it. Some of you, I feel, I get a mixture of things. And when these people cards come up, it's always that way because I'm not reading you privately here. So I'm reading different factions of what my guides say. This is the possibility one guy or girl is feeling this way, that way, the other. What it comes up here is some of you, you're not sure what to make of it or not sure how to react to it or not sure whether you want to get involved with them or how much energy you would want to give to that or be in, you know, get in the mix of it. I feel like they kind of have a bit of a commanding presence in some manner. I feel that they're good with uh, a story. They're good to communicate and tell a story or a joke. They may be a big person. Like you may not be able to miss this person. They may be like football player big or something like that. But be, commanding presence can also be their energy, their aura. Let's put it this way. If they're not physically big, their aura and their energy that they pro project is big. Some of them do have a thing for you. And if you're coupled or married to somebody else, they would like to have an affair with you. And if you're single, they would really would feel to me like they want to pursue you. Um, I feel like their heart and their mind is really cluttered here with thoughts or feelings about you. Now, that's not going to be the case for all of you. Taurus is hearing this message, but that's what comes up first. In some ways, I also feel this person is very kind and loving and very gentle. I don't see you running in, with open arms at them. I feel like you're analyzing them or kind of standoffish with them or like trying to make, figure this out or what do you make of it? The next card you have here is four of rods. This could be marriage. This could be about a marriage you're already in. It could be getting married. It could be attending a celebration or some gathering. It can also mean success coming to you in springtime. I feel like spring is a big time for you where monumentous changes are really going to start happening. And for many of you, this is going to start in April. 
around the 24th of April and go strongly into May. Some of you are having, getting a marriage proposal at that time, or you are getting married or you're attending a wedding. Any one of those possibilities come up, but some of you are getting engaged in April or May. Some of you, it's either your wedding or someone in your family, your daughter, your son, your grandchild, uh, you know, maybe your parents are divorced and they're getting, one of them is getting remarried, could even be that, or a sibling. Uh, but the, like, so marriage does actually come up here for some of you, but it's what, is it you? Is it somebody else? It's, it's all over the map here with this one. Also, like I said, if you're single and you've been seeing someone seriously, some of you are getting engaged. Some of you have a very strong desire to want to get married or get engaged or get with a new partner. And I feel that some of you Tauruses are really putting all your energy and thoughts into, I really want, don't want to be alone anymore. or I really want to find love. And what do I need to do to make this happen? I feel some of you thinking this and thinking about this uh, in October. Some of you may be getting married in this spring and you're really getting your getting the uh plans together and if it's not a marriage it could be some other big event and you're starting to work on it now getting the getting it together for that event that party that marriage that wedding that whatever some of you that are single do finally find your prince or prince charming or or uh, queen. Some of you do. If you had been disappointed in love in the past and you felt like your emotions had dried up and nothing exciting was happening, I feel like you're, this is also a card is symbolizing this symbol, symbolic of your love life getting reignited, reignited and reinvigorated again. You have the magician next. This is the card of the manifester. What you think about, you bring about. What's in the spiritual plane and in the ethers, you can manifest in, this, in the physical world. Or what's in your mind, you can bring into physical reality. And you have all the tools in front of you with which to do so. Some of you, if you had somebody pass away in the past few years, um, you may feel like you grieved long enough or even if it was a divorce, that you've grieved long enough and the time of bereavement is over. And now it's time to get on with it and like get yourself out there and meet somebody new. Some of you Tauruses are having that feeling that comes up here with a ma magician. I feel some of you are also making some kind of changes and you're going to enlist the help of others to help you do so. So for some of you, it could be, I want my house completely redone and I'm hiring a contractor and, you know, getting new sheetrock or new siding and new windows and new landscaping or new plumbing or new this or new that. And I'm, and I'm hiring all these people to do it. Some of you, I see you doing that. Some of you Tauruses, I also see it could be yourself. Maybe you're like, you know what, I want liposuction and I want to get a facelift and a boob job and a butt lift and I want to get, you know, an eye lift or I need, you know, laser uh, hair removal, whatever. And, and I've got to hire all these people to do it. So overhauling something, improving something, redoing things comes up around you. Maybe it's a, your business, a, a business you own, or your office space, or your website, or something. Uh, but either way, no matter what it is, I feel you're hiring different people to help you do this. I don't feel like you're going to be like, yeah, I'm doing this all myself. I feel like you're going to spend some money here to uh, get some people to help you with it. Some of you that are single, I do see you building the strong foundations of love with someone you're going to meet. If you don't meet them now in October, I feel it's likely you meet them in the month of January 2020. If you had any stitches or if you had anything where you needed surgery, 
you may have something removed or maybe have had something removed. Could have been a cyst, could have been a tumor, could have been, you know, varicose veins, could have been a tattoo, could have been something else. I don't know. But um, I get some of you like with like, you may have already done it. I'm not sure you're doing that in October, although it's possible this is the October reading, but you know, the guides are going to say whatever they want about different time frames. But I get some of you, or it could be your abdomen, like your appendix or gallbladder or something else. It could, it could have been removed or uh, some kind of, uh, or in, you know, polyps or some kind of intestinal surgery could have been something to do. It could have been a tummy tuck because some of you have something that has gone on in that area. Now, Four of Cups is next. This is overanalyzing, going within, pulling at straws, ruminating, worrying, worrying about the past. Um, it could also be uh, that you're getting some kind of blessing or opportunity that's coming to you unexpectedly or out of the blue. And you have to pay attention because if you're too, like, in your own headspace of, like ruminating or worrying about stuff, you may miss the opportunity uh, or the blessing. So you have to pay attention. Something you've wanted or waited for, you're going to get. If you were waiting for a green card uh, or uh, something to do with a work release or working papers or a work visa or some kind of permit or a license, or I, I get green light, green light of go of something like you know, can I do this boss? Can I start this project? Or, you know, can I do this or that? You get some kind of green light you get uh, or, and you get something that maybe you have applied for. I see some of you sorting out old family things. Now, for some of you, this could be like your grandmother's estate, your parents' estate, uh, or your spouse, maybe they passed away and you have to deal with their stuff. Um, it, that could have happened in the past and now you got to sort through their stuff. Um, it could be even your own stuff, but if, whatever these things are that I see you sorting out, the word family and old comes up to it. So this isn't like new items. Some of it may be, but I feel like I'm looking at old stuff. And you could be like, what do we do? Throw it away, keep it. Some other, well, there was another sign that got that this month too. So funny, that may be your rising sign or moon sign, but I don't remember which sign because my spirit guides told me to read you at number 12. And I don't go in order, like on the monthly readings, I don't go starting at Aries and then Taurus. I don't. Whatever I sit down to do and my guides say, do this sign and then this sign are the ones I do. And your this month is last, which is... Surprising because you've been in the top three or four uh, that I did in other months, but you're last today. Some of you are going to have to give some kind of speech or talk. Could be on the radio, could be on TV, could be in front of a group or audience. Um, and I get like having to go through notes, like reading through notes or note cards or what, you know, you could be giving a eulogy for someone or somebody could be having like a you know a retirement or some kind of special honor ceremony and you are getting up and are or like even if like say a new library is opening or a new hospital wing is opening or a new branch of uh, a university or school is opening you may be one of the people that gets up and gives like a Thank you for donating the money or a ribbon cutting ceremony like all those kind of things are swirling around you in October and some of that went into November. You've got the Knight of Rods last and this is a fire sign person, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, sun sign, rising sign or moon sign. Could also be you Taurus if your rising or moon sign is a fire sign or if you're born on the cusp of Taurus and Aries. I feel like catch them if you can. They're making mistakes or they're doing screwy things and they're leaving. Uh, this could be like somebody at work 
where they're doing a half-assed job and then like they try to hightail it out of there so they don't get caught. Or you have a relative, a uh, son or a daughter or a sibling or something that is screwing things up and then they're like, they try to skate out. I get that energy first. But keep in mind, the people entered people cards, court cards, knights, queens, kings, and pages can mean multiple, multiple people in a general reading. They're talking to everybody. They're kind of sneaking around doing it, but I get talking to everybody and kind of showing off. So I get a bunch of like uh, extroverted energy coming from the Knight of Rods. They may be putting things out there that you don't know about. If this is an employee to you uh, or a coworker to you, they may be saying negative things about you at work or they could be an employee to you and they're trying to get another job or get promoted within a same company you are uh, but it's like they they're like I get all this bravado energy like hey look at me yeah uh, yeah hey, hey, aren't I uh, I'm doing this and I did that and this is how cool I am and look at what I'm doing and this and that and, you know, nah, you don't want to look at Taurus. Nah, I, you want to pay attention to what I'm saying or doing. They could be undermining you, possibly, or they're just floating, tooting their own horn like do do do. And if they're not doing that, they, as I said, they could be trying to find another job. If it's a love relationship to you, they could be trying to find another love partner. But I don't feel that is what's going on here. I feel this energy is more like, or like if they live with you, if they're a roommate situation, they may be trying to, you know, campaign and look out there for another roommate to live with. And, and they're like saying, ah, Taurus has been really difficult. I need to eat. I'm not saying you've been difficult. Like, I don't know what they're doing. Like they, they could be saying some negative things about you. In some cases, no, they're just putting like a lot of this ego, egocentric, uh, egomaniacal attitudes and behaviors and, you know, look at me and uh, aren't I the best and uh, I can do the job and, uh, oh, hire me over here. And so you got to think about who this is for you. I feel you are going to be agitated about them. I get agitated energy. I feel that they look at you like you're really good at what you know how to do. They do respect you and think you do a good job, but they've got a thing where they feel like they have to top you or that they want to do better than you. Could even be a sibling. Could be sibling rivalry going on here. This could be a family situation where they're like, Hey, mom and dad, aren't I the best? Hey, aunt and uncle. Hey, uncle Bob and aunt Sue. Yeah, yeah, I'm the best. Oh, yeah, Taurus. Yeah, they're nice, but, you know, aren't I special? Aren't I the best? Aren't I the one you want to leave your money to or put me in charge of your estate or have me take care of, you know, this, that, and the other, and you pay me to do it, but don't, you know, let you want me to do it. Like, think about it. That's the energy going on here. And, but regardless of what they're saying, if they're saying negative things about you, they don't really believe it if they're doing that. They just want to, they do respect you and think you're smart, but they want to do better than you or they want to get something they don't want you to get or they are going to be looking for another job outside of where you are. You have to see how this plays out. Knight of Rods was really clear to me energetically, but who it is to you, only you can figure that out, Taurus. So I hope this reading was of help to you, and I hope it made sense. As always, thank you so much for watching, and please like, share, and subscribe, and hit that notification bell when you do subscribe. That way you'll get no notified when I upload my videos here to YouTube. And if you would like to get any of the special videos I record for Vimeo, those links are posted below this video and are also found on my website, www.theluckymermaid.com. 
click on the videos tab on my menu and there you will see all the video series listed. You just go to the heading you want of the, of the video series you're interested in, click on your sign, and it will take you to that video on Vimeo for download and purchase. Now, some of the links below, one is for the October 2019 Psychic Crystal Reading, where I look into my crystal and give you additional messages and predictions from my spirit guides for your sign for the month of October 2019. The other newer video series that's listed below, the link below is for the Horseshoe Tarot Spread, seven card spread, which is focusing on one or more important themes or people or both going on in your life and giving you the hidden messages, the outside influences, what's going on in the present, what the outcome is gonna be. So you might wanna check those videos out as well. And there's probably a couple other links below you might wanna check out. Also, if you would like to get more predictions and messages from my spirit guides through me that you're not gonna see here on YouTube, you can visit my social media pages, The Lucky Mermaid LLC on Facebook, The Psychic Pastry Chef LLC on Facebook, and also, my Instagram page, the lucky mermaid underscore Pam George L. On those places, I pull tarot cards, oracle cards, angel cards, animal oracle cards, uh, sacred geometry cards, mermaid cards. I use the crystal. Uh, I may even use the gemstone crystals at sometimes and give you predictions from them. So you never know what predictions and messages are going to be there. So please be sure to check them out. Many people find those messages are resonating with them. And those predictions are not just for the day I post the prediction and message. Many times they cover four to six weeks, a couple of months, six to nine months, the next week. You just never know what is going to come up and what messages and what timing is connected to those messages. Also, if you're interested in watching some interesting baking, cake making, pastry making, and decorating, and getting psychic predictions here on my channel, you can watch my episodes of The Psychic Pastry Chef, where I combine my 22 years of experience as a pastry chef with my 18 years of experience as a psychic and combine them together and make cakes and pastries and decorate them and put them together and give you predictions for your zodiac sign while doing so. So I surely hope you check that out on my channel as well. And Taurus, if you would like to get the gemstone crystal reading for this month and see what's the best gemstone for you to work with, carry and wear, that will vibrate the best with your frequencies, energies, and vibrations for the month of October. This month, I'm putting them in a separate video. I did that last month, I did it this month. I don't know, maybe I'll put it back in with the tower readings, but see how it goes as a separate video. You can find that video for you on my channel. So I hope you have an absolutely outstanding month of October, Taurus. And know that I wish you many blessings and peace.